Small towns in this country often have a charm all of their own, but every once in a while there's a dark side. Thea Morris discovered that when she took over a small diner in Morris, Manitoba. The last owners had left town after getting fed up with hearing homophobic slurs. Now Morris, who is originally from Jamaica, is leaving too, saying she's tired of people being racist and disrespectful to her. Francis Silvaggio has the story. Alethea Morris had always wanted to own her own restaurant. The Jamaican immigrant thought the small Manitoba town that shared her name would be the perfect place. On June 26th, her dream finally came true, and then it turned into a nightmare. Somebody told me the reason why people are not coming in here is because of my color. Business has almost dried up. No one has confronted her face to face, but the racist whispers are there. She says customers have walked out after seeing her, and then there was this response to her help wanted at. You guys still chasing colors out of your town out there? I believe the KKK has a chapter in South Dakota you should join. It was shot, man. It was surprising. It didn't feel good at all. Unfortunately, that feeling is not new here. You see, three months earlier, the previous tenants closed up shop, just six months after opening, when the openly gay owners finally tired of the homophobic slurs both in and outside their restaurant. We felt very hurt by it. We, we wasn't expecting people to have such a narrow mindset towards what we were doing here. It's... Our orientation is, is nothing to what we do. We cook good food, we have good service. Loyal customers and many residents couldn't believe this kind of bigotry was happening in their hometown. I think it's kind of sad and it's very narrow-minded. It's embarrassing for me to say sometimes I'm from Morris. The mayor wasn't available to talk today, but in the spring spoke harshly against the hate that was simmering in his community. Nobody should ever have to go through that. Like to see you. But now it's happening all over again. And just like the previous owners, Morris has had enough. It's not worth it to be here anymore if I'm been going out this negativity and I'm not getting the support. It's just a waste of energy in the wrong place. Morris plans to close before Christmas and warns if the community can't find a way to open people's minds, this restaurant space may remain closed. Francis Silvaggio, Global News.